So guys, Shewu of Channels Television has addressed Tinubu and he told him that the percentage of Nigerians who didn't vote for him are more than the percentage who voted for him. I want you to take your time and just listen to what Shewu told Tinubu. Take a look. We address our new president directly, urging him to sustain and build public trust in these critical times. Nigerians' expectations are soaring and this might just be our last beacon of hope i'm here tonight before you today with an appeal that carries the weight of the hopes and dreams of millions of nigerians don't forget mr president the percentage of nigerians who voted for you compared to those who did not I mean, there are more people who did not approve of you and to this effect some of the parties are in court challenging the outcome of the process but as that go on we have a country to run we now find ourselves at a pivotal moment in our nation's history. We stand united, filled with a fervent desire for change, progress, and a brighter future for Nigeria. The responsibilities that rest on your shoulders are immense, and we are watching closely, yearning for genuine leadership that reflects the will and aspirations of the Nigerian people. Our nation is largely divided along ethnic and religious lines. You must immediately find creative ways to sow the holes in the fabric of our nation and let everyone, no matter where they are from, feel like a member of the family once again. Without unity, it will be hard to make progress. Mr. President, we implore you to be proactive, to be a beacon of truth in the face of adversity. Nigeria has been plagued by corruption, inefficiencies, and broken promises for far too long. It is time for a paradigm shift. Show us, through your actions and policies, that this administration will be different. Set the tone early on by demanding accountability from every corner of government and by making decisions that prioritize the collective welfare of our people. Don't be deceived by the sacrifice. A lot of people out there don't trust your abilities or disappoint them. By doing right by Nigerians, President, you cannot compensate political allies with key roles that affect the very core of our existence as a people. No mediocrity can be allowed. Get the very best of us to do the job. Dear President, remember that empathy is the lifeblood of good governance. Connect with the Nigerian people on a human level. Understand their struggles, their hopes, and their dreams. Step into the shoes and let their stories guide your decision-making process. By doing so, you will foster a government that is not detached from the realities on the ground but intimately connected to the heartbeat of our nation. Decency, dear president, is a foundation upon which trust is built. It is an essential virtue that must permit every aspect of your administration. Treat every citizen with respect, regardless of their background or social status. Uphold the principles of justice and fairness, and let the rule of law be the guiding force behind your actions. Nigerians crave an administration that serves as a moral compass, and your commitment to decency will ensure that our faith in government is restored. In conclusion, dear President, the weight of expectation upon your shoulder is immense, but do not let it daunt you. Embrace this opportunity to be a true servant of the Nigerian people. Be proactive, truthful, empathetic, and decent in all that you do. Show us that this administration will be different, that our dreams will not be dashed, and that hope will not be extinguished. The Nigerian people are counting on you, President Tinobu, and together we can forge a nation that is the envy of the world. May your tenure be remembered as a turning point, the moment when Nigeria rose to its full potential. President Tinobu, we would like to remind and not alarm you. We shall continue within the dictate of our constitutional obligations as journalists to hold you and your team accountable. We will scrutinize your actions and inactions. We will ask tough questions and we will push your government to do the right thing, but we will not stop at inspiring you and your team to be the leader we all yearn for. Together, let's shape a Nigeria that shines bright with integrity, progress, and the fulfillment of our collective aspirations. Good night and may god bless nigeria everyone and that's my final word tonight i'm sure so guys let me know what you think about this video in the comment section below please don't forget to subscribe to my channel turn on the notification bell please give this video a like so that youtube can recommend it to others and let me know what you think in the comment section below thank you